welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a ad hoc unboxing. This watch literally just arrived today. So I thought I'll get it unboxed, get you guys the specifications and the stats, dimensions also, talk a little bit about it, uh, and then follow up with the full review. Now this watch, I brought it up on one of my AliExpress watches uh, list that I do sometimes. And it was a new release uh, and you know, the pictures, and you know instantly uh, took my interest um, and then you know I went on to kind of inquire about it and obviously make the purchase now I did buy this a few weeks ago it has taken a bit of time because mainly the Chinese New Year did disrupt that for a bit um, so that's why that was delayed however it is now here uh, and there's a couple of interesting things about this watch now the first one being is what it is homaging now this is homaging uh, a watch made by a brand called Serica and I had no knowledge that they existed. Um, and it was only brought to my attention um, through some of the members within the comments. Now, regarding those comments, I do need to have a chat with you guys, uh, with at least some of you guys. So within the comments section, a few people were offended and upset that uh, this watch has been homaged, uh, you know, because it is in fact a micro brand, I think a French micro brand called Serica uh, and I think that watch retails for over a thousand pounds maybe or 1200 pounds I'm not too sure about that um, and again I had no knowledge about it but I seriously think if you are watching this channel if you are you know into homage watches on AliExpress then there is nothing off limits um, you know we've already gone past that gray area uh, we're into the world of homages we enjoy AliExpress watches so nobody's off limits whether or not they're a micro brand whether or not they're a commercial or a very famous and large brand I don't think there is anything off limits. So let's not let morality step in here right now and kind of take us away from enjoying, you know, perhaps a really well-made watch. And further to that, looking at some of the comments and, you know, looking at the review by Just One More Watch on the Serica, from what I gather, the movement is quite problematic. Now, this is made by a company called iPose or Friends of iPose, uh, ID and XHO. I don't know what that is, sorry, IX and DAO. Now it might be X and DAO, it might be the guys that produced it. And Watch Dives actually, they're the ones that bought this watch out. So it might be friends of, you know, Watch Dives, the guy who runs that, who knows, right? These things are, you know, very speculative and we don't always get the right information. But none of that is important. What's important is the actual watch here. Um, I went for this black and white dial version. They do have another four or five colors. They've also got like a special edition with a California dial, a dateless display. Um, and I found a couple of things that are very intriguing about this watch. The first thing that did jump out was these end links and that mesh style bracelet. If you've been watching my channel, you probably have never seen a shark mesh featured on that channel because I don't like them. I don't like how they feel. However, this one, which has been integrated into the end links, it might be different. Um, and it all looks good. So let's cover the specifications and dimensions um, before we talk just a little bit about the watch and then I can follow up and do some work on the full review. So specs wise, uh, you do have stainless steel case construction, as I mentioned, integrated uh, lugs with this bracelet. You've also got a screw down crown and a screw down case back. You can see it printed on the dial, it states 200 meters of water resistance. You've also got a top hat style sapphire crystal with some AR coating, and it looks like a ceramic bezel insert on this 120 click unidirectional bezel. The rotation is sweet, no problems there. Solid, uh, quite smooth as well, yet you can feel in here every click and no movement. So I'm very pleased uh, with what I'm seeing here so far. And everything in all honesty feels really well built. Um, this could have easily gone quite wrong for the guys at iPoles. Um, and now in terms of the movements, this is where I think this watch is incredible value for money. Uh, because if you look at the options, you do have a PT5000 version. You've also got a SW200 version and an ETA 2824 version. Now I went with a PT5000, but I was this close to going for the SW200 because unlike many other brands on AliExpress that now offer the SW200 from Salita, they usually add a hundred pounds on top. So this is priced at 216 pounds with the PT5000. Uh, I think that is quite reasonably priced. However, if you went for the Salita SW200, it's only 266 pounds. Uh, so what, 50 odd pound difference, which I really haven't seen, but it makes absolute sense because the Salita isn't that much more. So effectively, you're getting a Swiss made clone of the ETA 2824 for uh, around 260 pounds uh, with all the specs that you can imagine. Now already, that's probably better than the Serica from what I've heard anyway. I haven't seen the watch, you know, don't take anything away from the guys and all the R&D that's gone into it. 
However, when it comes to the world of homages, as I said, everything is fair game. In terms of dimensions, let's give you guys an overview of that. Um, the diameter, I believe it is 39 mil or 39.9. Let's see if that's zeroed correctly. Yes, so at the bezel, we're looking at 39.9, so just 40 mil. Uh, and I believe it is actually advertised as 39. So it's a mil bigger than what they've said. You've also got a thickness of 12 and a half millimeters, a log to log of 48 mil. Uh, let's have a look there, sorry, 48 millimeters, that's right. Crown size of seven and a half millimeters. And let's see with those integrated links, uh, see these female end links, uh, just under 50 millimeters at 49 and a half or 49 millimeters, which is, you know, reasonable. The bracelet itself is 20 mil at the top and it tapers down to 16 millimeters and that for a mesh it is a very fine mesh strap um, and of course the way that you kind of put this together is you just slide it in and it locks so you know a decent enough mechanism regarding the overall weight is 113 grams which is quite light um, considering the watch as well uh, and what you get with also with the packaging is like this cup holder from ipos uh, it's like a leather material it's pretty solid i'll be using that for my watches and going back to the case uh, you know it's a smaller version of those pelican cases which is again very robust and you can kind of use it again so this is what we have from ipos um, and they've got a lot of information on the website also you've got apparently 50 layers of loom and if i turn that to the side you can see just how thick some of those markers are what's that you want to see the loom okay let's show you guys the loom so this is the loom on this ipos and it's absolute monster loom i've not used my uv lamp on this at all this is just from the light within this room uh, very bright uh, loads of loom on that it's one of the brightest looms i've seen in a good while so good bezel action, good loom, and so far it looks great in hand. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to say too much. Uh, I do want to save some for the review. I want to spend a couple of days with this watch also. I don't want to get all excited on the unboxing and there's something you know drastically wrong with it. Um, so let me go back, test it out, put it on wrist, and let's see how we get on with this iPose. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.